next is network topologies introduction what do we mean by topologies network topologies so you see here uh, how the network is defined so the computer network is an interconnected collection of various devices which can communicate with each other so say for example one device two device these are the devices and somehow somehow they are interconnected with each other so that will be known as a computer network so how the computers are connected this may be one way of connecting the computer another way of connecting the computer may be that we do have a broadband channel and say for the example from this channel rest of the four computers are connected in this way so this may be one way of connecting the computer which is different from this another way of connecting the computer may be like that we do have these kind of computers and say for the example these are connected in this way where all the computers are connected to rest of the computers uh, with separate using separate lines another way of connecting computers may be like that we do have a central hub and from central hub these computers are connected in this way so you see here so these are various kinds of topology so the way computers are connected with each other is known as computer technology or you can call it the layout or the organization of the organizational hierarchy of interconnected devices in a network is known as network topology uh, what are the various kinds of topology if the computers are connected in this way so that it forms a closed ring then it will be known as ring topology if the computers are connected via a broadband line this is the main backbone and computers are connected to all these computers in this way then it will be known as bus topology if every computer is connected to every other computer via separate line then it will be known as mesh topology here in this case uh, where the computers are connected via device hub central hub then it will be known as a star topology so these are various kinds of topology uh, what are the importance it determines the network's performance reliability scalability and fault tolerance so which kind of topology is suitable that depends on what kind of application do you want to use in your computer network or for your organization depending on that you will take decision whether I, this kind of topology is suitable for me or this kind of topology is suitable for me or this kind of topology is suitable for me uh, now we'll uh, have a look on various kinds of technology one uh, topology one by one so star topology so you see here there is a central device which is known as hub 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 sometime it is known as switch as well so hub or switch and all the devices are directly connected to these devices via separate lines via separate Lines. then this is known as a star topology so all devices are connected to a central hub or switch the central hub acts a repeater for data flow if one link fails only that particular connection is affected what happens basically say for the example this computer this computer wants to transmit a message to this computer so first of all it will send the data to hub and the hub will uh, transmit the data from these two the destination address so the communication takes place via the central device that is known as hub say for the example for any reason this link is not working then the operation of whole network will not be affected only this computer this computer will not be part of the network because this link is not working it will not affect the operation of the whole network the whole network will keep on the rest of the part of the network will keep on operating uh, normally yes but in case of the failure of the hub or switch the whole the operation of the whole network will come to a uh, come to an halt will be affected adversely in case of the central device fails so what are the advantages is it easy to install or manage so it is very easy to uh, establish this kind of network what do you need you need a switch basically and we have cables so we put to, uh, you can connect uh, your computer through the cable one side will be at the hub and another side will be at your computer so bus yeah, this is the way this is the way you can connect your computer you can install your computer so here this hub or switch allows you to connect as many computers as many ports are there they are known as ports so here in this case you can see there eight one two three four five six seven eight ports are there so maximum eight computers can be connected with this hub one computer will be connected with one hub so this kind of connections are there i mean to say and this is uh, very easy to set up this kind of uh, network in that sense i am telling you what are the disadvantage disadvantage the main disadvantage is that 
and the failure of the central hub can bring down the entire network. If this hub, the, if this computer fails, the whole operation of the whole network will be affected and require more cables than some other topology. You see here just for connecting every computer, we need separate cable. Say for example, this is uh, 10 meters. So 10 meter cable is there. This is 50 meters. 50 meter cable is 100 meters. So 100 meter cable is there. It may be 200 meters. So 200 meter cables are required. So the here the require it requires more cables than some other topology. Now we will have a look on the bus topology. You see here uh, this is the all devices share a common backbone or central cable. This is the central cable basically. You can see here this is the central cable and at both the end we do have terminators. So terminators are there and all the devices are connected. All the devices are connected to this central uh, cable or backbone. So if this kind of topology is there then it will be known as bus topology. Data is transmitted in both directions along the bus and terminators at each end prevents data reflection. What happens basically say for the example say for the example this computer this computer wants to transmit it some data or some information to this computer. So what will happen it will send the signal and whatever signals are there this these signal transmitted in both the they travels in both the direction. So it goes via this way as well via this way. So whenever it comes to this computer, it finds that okay, this message is meant for me. So this message will be copied over here. So the message will be received by this computer. But the signal travels further and reaches to the terminator. At the terminator, the signal is absorbed. Fine, because Otherwise, if it is not absorbed over here, then it will keep on oscillating from this way to that way and it will keep on colliding with each other and resulting in uh, collision of the message and destruction of the message. So, a smooth communication will not be there. So, similarly in this way, the signal was going via this way. Finally, it reaches to the terminal where it is removed, where it is absorbed by the terminator. So, terminators removes the signal whenever the signal travels the whole path. And here we do have some transceivers and these transceivers basically uh, transceives that okay this message is meant for this computer. So they receives the message and the message is transmitted to this computer only fine. So this is how the communication takes place uh, in case of bus topology. It is simple and cost effective for a small networks. So if you want to set up a computer network for 30 computers, 40 computers and like that in a lab or in an office, it is the very easiest way and very secure way of uh, connecting the computers. Uh, uh, using bus topology. It is easy to add or remove devices. What are the limitations or disadvantage? It is limited cable length and number of devices. Fault in the backbone cable. If the, something goes wrong with this backbone cable, uh, the whole, the operation of the whole or the entire network will be adversely affected. So this is the uh, bus topology. Uh, whatever you are seeing over here, basically it is the logical diagram. The physical diagram is something like this. So we do have a device which is known as switch and I have already told you that in switch there are various ports and, and these ports are these ports are internally wired in this way. So we just see here this is basically this is basically the central cable or backbone cable fine and we can connect our computer from these ports like that. In any other way, these computers can be connected in this way basically. Anna? So the physical connection, physically it looks like this basically. But effectively you can see here all the devices are connected through what? A central cable over here. So for establishing this kind of network again we need a switch with several ports. They are known as ports. Here four ports are written over here. So maybe four ports, eight ports. 16 ports, 24 ports. So depending on your need, you can uh, buy a switch of 8 port or 16 port or 24 port. Sometime it is required, sir, what happens if I have more than 24 systems? Okay, no issue. This is one switch, another switch you can take. You can take another switch here. Say for the example for 24 port switch is there and these, there is provision to connect these switches to extend the LAN. So here you can extend your local area network by having another switch. So it is switch number two. This is switch number one. Fine. So these switches 
can be connected with each other via cables to extend your LAN further. So say for example 24 ports which is here, so 24 computers can be connected over here, another 24 computers can be connected by this computer, so in all it becomes 48 computers. So this is how the computer network is set up in case of bus topology. Another topology is ring topology. So what happens in the ring topology, logically uh, it forms that they are forming a closed rings. So the signal is traveling like that and say for example this computer wants to transmit to this. So the message can be transmitted from, from here and it will reach to this computer. So this is how the communication takes place in case of ring topology. So devices are connected in a circular arrangement to form a closed uh, ring. Data travels in one direction or both. There are two ways of configuring, uh, configuring uh, the ring topology. Either you can configure for one-way transmission or the transmission may be in both the ways, no issue. Each device has exactly two neighbors. Here you see each device is having two neighbors, this side and this side. Two neighbors are there, this and that. So uh, equal access to resources for all the devices, predictable data low and it reduces the collisions basically. So chances of collision is very uh, low in case of ring topology. Failure of signal, failure of a single device can affect the entire network. You just see here, if something goes wrong with this device, so now whatsoever data was coming from this way, that will be affected. So it affects the operation of the whole network. That was not the case in case of bus topology or a star topology. If one computer goes down, it is not going to affect the operation of the entire network. Say for example, here, you see here, if some computer, if something goes wrong with this computer, only the operation of this computer will be affected. This is not working. Rest of the computers can work in the network. It is not going to affect the operation of the whole network. But here, in this case, if something goes wrong with this computer, the operation of whole network or even any other computer is uh, having some problem, it will affect the working of the whole or entire network. Another thing is their mesh topology. In case of mesh topology, each device is connected to every other device in the network via exclusive line, via a single line I mean to say. So you just see here, this device, one, two, three, four, five, so five lines must be there. So this is connected to this, this is connected to single wire, this device is connected to this, this to connect. So all the uh, the devices are connected to each other, every other device in the network via a single line, via exclusive line I mean to say. So it provides multiple path for data transmission. What is the advantage? The advantage is that it provides multiple. Say for example, I have to transmit data from this computer to this computer. This can be directly transmitted. But say for example, if something goes wrong, there is a problem in this line, then another alternate path is there. You can transmit the data to this computer and from, from this to this, it can reach in this way as well. Another may be there, you can transmit data to this computer and from here it can reach to this way. So it in that sense, it offers multiple path. Another path may be there, you can transmit data to this pane and from here it can go to this computer. So in that sense, it provides multiple path, thereby ensuring reliable delivery of the data. Your data will certainly be uh, delivered either from this path or that path. So uh, what are the advantage? High reliability and fault tolerance, efficient data transmission without traffic congestion. Uh, what is the disadvantage? Complex setup and maintenance, high cost due to number of connections that are required. You see here, uh, we knew a large number of cables are required to set up these connections. But what is the main advantage? Main advantage is that it offers you multiple paths to transmit the data from one place to another, from one node to another node. So in that sense, it ensures reliable data transmission. And another thing may be there, depending on your requirement, we can use the hybrid topology as well. So a combination of two or more different kinds of technology. So you just see here, this network has been connected using the bus topology. Here you see, this is the network which has been established by using a star topology. And these two computers are connected with each other, the switch here and the switch here, they are connected via each other. They are, huh? so, so by having this kind of thing, we can ensure a hybrid topology as well. So it integrates the strength of different topology to meet a specific network needs. What is, the, uh, what is the advantage? It is flexible, scalable and can be customized for different requirements. And what are the disadvantages? Yes, 
to maintain one kind of topology is comparatively easier. But if you are using uh, complex to design and uh, it is different kinds of topology you have to maintain over there, then it is complex to design and maintain and potentially higher cost due to mixed infrastructures. So, these are some pros and cons of hybrid topology. We will have a brief look on the emerging trends in the networking. All of us know nowadays we are hearing about 5G networks. So, what is 5G networks? You might have 2G mobiles where they are in the mobile uh, in the mobile communication. You might be hear, hearing all these things 2G, 3G, 4G. Right? Currently, 4G networks are there, and we are now in the process of switching to 5G networks. So, it provides faster speed, lower latency, and greater capacity. What are the applications? The possible applications may be uh, in Internet of Things, which is known as IoT, smart cities, and autonomous vehicles. Another upcoming technology is quantum networking. It uses quantum mechanics for ultra secure communication that is very fast and potential for next generation encryption and data transmission. Uh, software defined networks commonly known as SDN. They separates control and data panels for more flexible network management. Possible applications are in the cloud computing and data centers. So you might have heard the name of cloud computing and data centers where one technology is used which is known as SDN and uh, AI, artificial intelligence in networking. So we may use uh, AI or uh, we can use AI for to automate, to automate network management, to predict failures and to optimize traffic. So these are uh, some of the uh, upcoming technology which can be used or which is being used nowadays in the modern computer networks. So with this basically we finish your uh, first session on the computer network.